and girls! Today I'm going to teach you how to write some letters of the alphabet. We're going to be writing the letter A, B, C, D, E, and F. And after each letter that we write, I'm going to show you some animals that begin with that letter. And guess what? Some of them are so awesome. Boys and girls, first you need some writing paper and a pencil with an eraser. Also, hopefully you have a piece of paper with guidelines, but if you don't, that's okay. Do you see the guidelines, boys and girls? The blue line is the top line, the red line is the bottom line, and the dashed lines is the middle line. Let's start with line number one, which will represent the first letter of the alphabet capital A. So I'm going to write a capital A so you can see what it looks like before we write it. Put a dot on the top blue line. Then put your pencil in the dot and draw a slanted line to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot again and draw a slanted line to the right side. The dashed line, draw a line across connecting the two lines. Let's try it again, boys and girls. Put a dot on the top line. Put your pencil in it. Draw a slanted line to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot. Draw a slanted line to the red line at the bottom. To the dashed line and draw a line across. There's your capital A. Let's try it again. Put your dot down. Put your pencil in your dot and draw your slanted line. Put the pencil in the dot. Draw your slanted line. Go to the dashed line. Connect the two lines, and there's your capital A. Now, boys and girls, later I want you co to complete that whole line with capital A's. Boys and girls, this animal is an anteater. Anteater begins with a capital A. Apes begin with a capital A. Now let's go to line number two. We are going to be writing a capital B, and it looks like this. So put a dot on the top line. Then put your pencil in the dot and draw a straight line down to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot again and come around like a big fat belly here to the dash line. Put your pencil where you stopped and go around again. Let's try it again. Put your dot right here. Put your pencil in the dot and bring it straight down to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot, make like a big belly. Then another big round belly. It's like drawing pictures, boys and girls. Put your dot down. Put your pencil in the dot and bring your line down to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot, make this round belly again to the dash line. Put your pencil where you stopped and make another round belly. Bunnies begin with a capital B. Bear begins with a capital B. Number three represents the third letter in the alphabet. The third letter is a C. This is what a capital C looks like, boys and girls. Let's make a dot. 
put your pencil in it and you're going to go back on that line come down to the red line and stop right underneath the dot let's try it again put down your dot put your pencil in your dot go backwards on that blue line come down to the red line and stop right underneath the dot capital C one more time Put your pencil in the dot, go backwards, go down toward the red line, curve around, and stop underneath the dot. Capital C. And remember, later on, you finish this line with a lot of capital C's. Keep on practicing. Camel begins with a capital C. Chick begins with a capital C. Number four. The fourth letter of the alphabet is the letter D. And this is what a capital D looks like, boys and girls. I want you to put a dot right here. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a straight line down to the red line. Then go back up to that dot and make a big belly on it. Like a big pot belly. Let's do it again. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. Bring your line straight down to the red line. Go back up to the dot and make that big belly. Writing letters can be like drawing, boys and girls. Let's try it one more time. Put your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. Straight line down. Put your pencil up to the dot and draw a big pot belly. Duck begins with a capital D. <coughs> Dinosaur begins with a capital D. Number five. The fifth letter of the alphabet is an E. And this is what a capital E looks like, boys and girls. Make a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down to the red line. Put your line on the dot and draw a straight line. Now go to the dash line and draw another straight line, but make it about the same length as the top line. Go to the bottom line and draw another straight line. Now you see that all the lines are about the same length. Let's try it again. Put your dot. Make a straight line down to the red line. Put your pencil in the dot, draw a straight line. Go to the dash line, draw a straight line. Go to the bottom line and draw a straight line. Good job! Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. Draw a straight line. Put your pencil in the dot. Draw a straight line across. Put your pencil on the dash line. Draw a straight line across. And to the bottom line, draw a straight line across. There's your capital E. Emu begins with a capital E. Number six. The sixth letter of the alphabet is F. This is what a capital F looks like, boys and girls. You can see it looks very close to the capital E, except 
the bottom part is missing. So put down your dot, put your pencil in the dot and draw the line straight down. Go back up to the dot, draw a line straight across. Now go to the middle line and draw a line straight across. Remember those lines should be about the same length. Let's try it again. Put down your dot, Put your pencil on the dot and draw a straight line down to the red line. Put your pencil on the dot, draw a line straight out. Let's go to that middle dash line and draw a line straight out. Capital F. Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot and a line straight down. Put your pencil in the dot, go straight across, and go to the middle line and go straight across. Capital F. Fish begins with a capital F. Boys and girls, I just want to share this adorable pot belly pig with you. Remember the round belly I had you draw to write the letters B and D? It comes from this. See the pig's pot belly? I hope you enjoyed yourself. And you know, boys and girls, you are smarter. Bye! Hi again. We're going to be doing G H I J K and L and we're going to be watching some more animals that start with each of those letters. So let's get started again. Boys and girls, the first one we're going to do is number seven, which represents the seventh letter of the alphabet. And the seventh letter of the alphabet is G. And this is what a capital G looks like, boys and girls. First, I want you to put a dot on the top blue line. Put your pencil in the dot, and you're going to go backward on that blue line, come down to the red line, and then come up underneath the dot, and go backwards on that dash line. That's why we have guidelines. It helps us to write our letters. Let's put a dot again. Put your pencil in dot, go backwards, go down to the red, come up to the dash line, and go back on the dash line for your capital G. That's kind of hard, huh? Let's try it again. Put your dot, Put your pencil in your dot, go backwards, and come forward on the red line, go up underneath the dot, and go back on the dash line. Now I'm going to show you some animals that begin with a capital G. Giraffe. Boys and girls, the word giraffe is written here with a capital G. Geese is written with a capital G. Number eight. The eighth letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is A H. And this is what a capital H looks like. Put your dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down to the red line. Put another dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw another line straight down. Now you're going to go to that first line on the dash line and draw a line straight across connecting the two lines. Capital H. Let's try it again. Put a dot. Put your pencil on the dot, draw a straight line, another dot, put your pencil on the dot, draw a straight line down, go to the other line and go straight across, capital H. Put 
your dot, put your pencil in the dot and draw a straight line down. Draw another dot, pencil in the dot, and a line straight down. Now we're going to connect the two lines. Capital H. Hummingbird! Hummingbird is written with a capital H. Hamster. Hamster is written with a capital H. Number nine. The ninth letter of the alphabet is the letter I. And this is what a capital I looks like, boys and girls. Put your dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down to the red line. Then you're going to go to the left side of the dot and draw a line straight across through the dot. Now let's go to the red line down below. We're going to do the same thing. Let's make a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down to the red line. Then you're going to go to the left-hand side of the dot. You're going to draw a straight line across through the dot. And we're going to go at the bottom to the red line and do the same thing. But boys and girls, try to start your line right under the other line so they're the same length. I you know it's kind of hard. We'll try our best. Let's try it again. Put your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. Draw a line straight down. Go to the left hand side. Draw a line straight to the dot. Go to the red line down below, right underneath that blue line, and draw a line straight across. Capital I. Boys and girls, this is an insect. Insect is written with a capital I. Number 10. The tenth letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is a J. So I'm going to write a capital J. And this is what it looks like. I want you to put a dot right here. Put your pencil in the dot and come down the red line and go backwards like a hook on a fishing pole. You know the hook for a fishing pole? And let's go to the left hand side and put a little tiny dot just above that little hook. Put your pencil in it and draw a line straight across. Let's try it again. Put a dot. Come down to the red line and go behind it just like a hook. Then go right above where you stop with that hook. Put a little dot above that hook. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight across. And that's the top of the capital J. Let's try it again, boys and girls. Put a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down and go backwards on that red like that fishing hook. And put your little dot above that fishing hook. Put your pencil in and go straight across. A capital J. J 
jellyfish is written with a capital J. Jacob's sheep is written with a capital J. Number 11. The 11th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is K. And this is how you write a capital K. Now, we're going to put a dot on the top blue line. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a straight line to the red line below. Now we're going to the right of this line. Put a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and you're going to draw a line to the dash line connecting that line you drew. It looks like that. Put your pencil right here on the dash line and draw a line out, going out to the red line under that top dot. That's a capital K. It's kind of hard, isn't it? But we'll get it. Let's put a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a line straight down. Put another dot to the right of that line. Put your pencil in the dot and we're going to draw a line going and connecting that other line at the dash line. Put your pencil where we just left off and we're going to draw a line going to the right red line underneath the dot. And that makes our capital K. Let's try it again. While we practice, better we get. Okay, put your pencil in the dot. Draw a line going straight down to the red line. You're going to go to the right of that dot. And you're going to make a dot. The dots show us where we place our pencil, boys and girls. Put your pencil in that dot and draw the line to the dash line connecting that other line. Put your pencil down where we stop that line and draw a line to the red line below underneath the dot. See how important it is to have the guidelines? King Crab is written with a capital K. Kitten is written with a capital K. Number 12. And the 12th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is the letter L. And this is what a capital L looks like, boys and girls. This is pretty simple, so let's put our dot down. Put your pencil in the dot, draw a line straight down. Go to that red line and draw a line straight across. Capital L, wasn't that easy? Let's put our dot again. Put your pencil in the dot, bring it down to the red line. Go down the red line and draw a line straight across on that red line. Again, put a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and draw the line straight down. Put 
your pencil on that red line and draw across. There is your capital L. Leopard is written with the capital L. Llamas. Llamas is written with a capital L. Great writing today, boys and girls. Keep it up! Are you ready, boys and girls, to start learning how to write some more letters? We're going to start with the letter M. Then we're going to go to N O P Q R. And we're going to watch some more of those awesome animals. Number 13. The 13th letter of the alphabet is A M. And this is how you write a capital M. M. So now I want you to put your dot right there, put your pencil in the dot, and slant your line a little bit to the left to the red line. Go back to the dot, draw a line slanted to the dash line, put your pencil where you just stopped, and draw a line up like this. Now put your pencil where we stopped and draw a slanted line to the right. I'm going to try it again, boys and girls, but I'm going to change it around just a little bit. Okay, put your dot, put your pencil in your dot and your slanted line going down to the red line. Put your pencil back in the dot, go to the dash line. Now I want you to draw a dot on the blue line. Put your pencil in the dot and connect the lines. Go. Put your pencil in the dot and draw a slanted line to the red line. Now, as you can see, the first one we did was the easiest. So let's try that first way of writing the M. Put your pencil in the dot and draw the line down. Put the pencil in the dot again, go to the dash line. Now slant up and then come slanting down to the red line. So we don't pick up our pencil, we go back and forth, the smooth flowing line. A cob begins with a capital M. begins with a capital M. Number 14. The 14th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is N. And this is what a N looks like. Let's put our dot. Put your pencil in the dot and bring a straight line down to the red line. Pencil in the dot. You're going to slant to the right to the red line down below. And where you stop, draw a line straight up. Capital M. Put your dot, and try it again. Pencil in the dot, straight line down. Pencil in the dot, slanted line to the red line below. And then let's try going straight up to the blue line. Capital N. And we're gonna do it again. Pencil in the dot, draw a line straight down. Pencil and dot, 
slant to the right to the red line and then go straight up capital N Nanny Goat Nanny begins with a capital N Number 15 The 15th letter of the alphabet boys and girls is an O and this is what an O looks like So let's put down our dot Put your pencil in the dot and go to the left, circle around to the red, and then up to the blue line. Like a big circle here. Let's try it again. Put your dot down, pencil in the dot, circle around. You are making an O. That's fun, isn't it? Put your dot down. Put your pencil on the dot and go to the left, to the red line, circle around to the right, and up to the blue. O. The letter O. Ostrich begins with the capital O. Otters begin with a capital O. Number 16. The 16th letter of the alphabet is a P. And this is what a P looks like, boys and girls. Okay, put your dot, put your pencil on the dot, and a straight line down. Put your pencil on the dot and we're making like this pot belly to the dash line. Ta-da! A capital P. Dot. Straight line down. And put that cute little pot belly on it. Go to the dash line and connect the lines. Try it again. Dot. Pencil in the dot, straight line down, and our pot belly, like our pot belly pig, and there's our capital P. Pot belly pig begins with a capital P. Number 17. The 17th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is a Q. And this is what a capital Q looks like. Put your dot. Remember our O? We're going to draw an O, or we can call it a circle. Then come down to the bottom and draw a line through the circle. And it should look like this. Put your dot, put your pencil on the dot and draw a circle or an O. Go down toward the bottom. Let's just put a little dot right about here. It shows you where you're gonna start your line to go through the circle. That should look like that. Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Draw a circle, or the letter O. Come down to the bottom and draw a line through the line. Queen B begins with a capital Q. Number 18. The 18th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is a R. And this is what a capital R looks like. So put down your dot, put your pencil on the dot, go straight down, go back to the dot, let's make a pot belly, like the pig. Go to where you stopped and a slanted line to the right. Again, dot, straight line, pot belly, 
Put your pencil where you stopped and slanted line to the red line. Again, dot, straight line, pot belly, and a slanted line to the red line. Capital R. Raccoon begins with the capital R. Rabbit begins with the capital R. See you the next time. Today's lesson is going to be letters S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We're going to finish all those letters of the alphabet. There are 26 letters in the English language. Number 19. The 19th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is S. And this is what a capital S looks like. So let's put down our dot, put your pencil in the dot, and you're going to go backwards on that blue line, come down to the dashed line, and then stop underneath the dot. I'm going to lift up my pencil so you can see where I am. Put your pencil down, come forward, and go down to the red line, and then go backwards on that red line. Capital S. Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Your pencil and the dot go backwards to the dash line. I'm lifting up my pencil so you can see where I stop. Put your pencil down again. Come down to the red line and go backwards on that red line. Kind of make like a hook like there. Yes. Kind of looks like a snake, doesn't it? Put your pencil down. Make the dot. Put the pencil in the dot. Go backwards to the dash line and stop underneath that dot. Just like that. Put your pencil down. Go down to the red line and come backwards. Kind of have it rounded. It kind of looks like a hook. And it kind of looks like a snake. So here is our snake. The snake starts with a capital S. Squirrel starts with a capital S. Number 20. The 20th letter of the alphabet is a T. And boys and girls, this is what a capital T looks like. Let's make a dot. Put your pencil on the dot and draw a straight line down. Now I want you to go to the left hand side, put a dot about this far over. Put your pencil in the dot and go through the dot to the other side about this far. Let's put down a dot. Oh, that looks like it's too close to the other T, so I'm going to have to erase that and put it over more to the right so I have room to draw my capital T. I mean right. Oh geez, I wouldn't erase the S. But this would this is what happens, boys and girls. So you have to fix your mistakes. So I'm gonna let me fix this S here. And it looks like that. Come down to that dot. Put your pencil in the dot and make a straight line down. Go to the left and draw a line through the dot to the other side. Let's see if I can do this better now. Come over a little bit further, your dot. Put your pencil in the dot, line straight down. Go to the left-hand side and draw a line straight through that dot to the other side. Capital T. Tadpoles starts with a capital T. Tortoise begins with a capital T. Number 21.
boys and girls, the 21st letter of the alphabet is a U. And this is what a capital U looks like. Put down your dot right about here. Put your pencil in the dot and come down to the red line. Go along the red line down at the bottom. Then you're going to curve up, go straight up, and then you're going to come straight down on that line to the red line. Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. You're going to come down the red line. Kind of round it off a little bit. Go to the red line. Now you're going to round up, straight up, and then come straight back on that line to the red line. It's looking better, see? The more we practice, the better it looks. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot, come straight down to the red line, kind of curve it right here at the red. Then we're going to curve it up, going straight up, and then straight down on that line. Unicorn begins with a capital U. Unicorn. Number 22. And boys and girls, the 22nd letter of the alphabet is the letter V. And this is what a capital V looks like. So let's put down our dot. Put your pencil on the dot and you're going to slant your line to the red. And then you're going to slant up to the blue. Let's try it again. Put your dot. Put your pencil in the dot and slant it to the right. And then put your pencil where you stopped and slant it up to the right again. To the blue line. Make a dot. Put your pencil in the dot, slant it to the red line. And then put your pencil where you stop and slant it up to the blue. Capital V. And vultures begin with a capital V. Number 23. And the 23rd letter of the alphabet is the letter W. And this is what a capital W looks like. So let's start here with a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and you slant the line down to the red line. Let's start where we stop, go to the dash line. Then you're going to go back to the red line. Where you stop, let's slant up to the blue line. Capital W. Let's try it again. Put your pencil in the dot and slant it a little bit to the red. Then you're going to go up to the dash line and then you're going to come back to the red line. Then you're going to slant up to the blue line. Again. Put down your dot, put your pencil on the dot, slant that line down to the red, go up to the dash line, now we're going to go back to the red line, and then we're going to slant up. Good. Wall Gecko begins with a capital W. What to see? begins with a capital W. Number 24. The 24th letter of the alphabet is an X. 
and this is what a capital X looks like. So put down your dot, put your pencil in your dot and slant to the right. Go up to the top, put a dot right there, put your pencil at the top blue line and slant to the left. Let's try it again. Put down your dot, put your pencil in the dot, slant to the right to the red line. Put a dot right about here. Put your pencil in it and slant to the left. It's like a crisscross lines here. Put your dot, put your pencil in the dot, slant to the right. Make a dot right about here. Put your pencil in it and slant to the left. Crisscross lines. Boys and girls, the word ox is spelled here with a capital X in it. Number 25. The 25th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is a Y. And this is what a capital Y looks like. Put your dot right here. You're going to slant to the dashed line. Go up to the top blue line. Put your dot. Put your pencil in it and slant it in a straight line down. Put your dot. Slant it to the dashed line. Put the dot to the right. Connect the two lines. Put your pencil where you stopped and a straight line down. Dot. Slanted line to the dashed line. Dot. Connect the lines. Put your pencil on the dot and straight down. Yellow Canary begins with a capital Y. Number 26. And the 26th letter of the alphabet, boys and girls, is the last letter of the alphabet. And it is the letter Z. And this is what a capital Z looks like. So put down a dot. Put your pencil in the dot and you're going to go straight across on the blue line. Put your pencil where you stop. Now you're going to slant it to the left. And then put your pencil where you stop and go straight across on the red line. Let's try it again. Put down your dot. Put your pencil in the dot. A straight line on the blue. Put your line where you I mean put your pencil where you stopped. Slant it to the red line. And get about the same length so it looks like this. And then go across on the red line below. Put your dot. Go straight across on the blue. Slant your line so you're ending right underneath that dot. And then go straight across on the red. Capital Z. Zebu begins with a capital Z. There are 26 letters that we have written. 26 letters in the alphabet. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And you know, boys and girls, you are smarter. Bye.